If you're thinking about grabbing a Pixel 6 Pro, definitely stick around. I have some top best and worst features of the new phone. Hey, s'mores, I'm Shannon Morse, and this is Morse Code. Want to see a full in-depth review of the 6 Pro? Make sure to hit that subscribe button for that video coming up later this week. No, I am not posting a review today. I prefer to have phones in hand for more than five days before I review it because I like to actually experience the phone as my daily driver before I can truly tell you whether or not it's worth your money. So let's go ahead and talk about the worst features and the best features of the new Pixel 6 Pro, starting with the worst features, and I definitely had to talk about the fingerprint sensor. Now, I was really looking forward to using an in-screen fingerprint sensor on a Pixel, but sadly, this one uses an optical sensor to scan your fingerprint. That means it requires bright light to capture a 2D image of your fingerprint, and that light is required each and every time you go to to unlock your phone. So one, if unlocking your phone at night, optical scanners need to use this bright white light to unlock even if your phone is on the lowest brightness setting. So good luck not waking up your spouse it's basically like turning on a flashlight at night. And two, the optical sensor is slower than the newer technology called ultrasonic. Now, Samsung's S21 Ultra, for example, does have an in-screen ultrasonic fingerprint scanner from Qualcomm, which is faster and it creates a more accurate 3D fingerprint as opposed to 2D fingerprint scan packed with ridges and valleys. So the optical one is slower, it's not as accurate, and it's really, really bright. This also inherently makes ultrasonic more secure as well. Now I know Google is going for new hardware here, hence the change from the capacitive sensor, which we used to see on previous pixels on the back of the phone. But I do wish they went all out on the fingerprint sensor and did an ultrasonic one instead of optical. So that was a big disappointment for me. And no, there is no face unlock, so you don't have that additional option. Also for worst features is the model choices. As I mentioned in my unboxing, I really like those bright colors and a huge thank you to Hector from Gadget Beard. I was able to trade him my stormy black for a sort of sunny colorway, so I have my favorite color now, but not all colors are available in all storage sizes. So sort of sunny, for example, is only available in 128 gigs. Coming from a 256 gig iPhone or a Samsung phone, that's a bummer since I create a lot of content on my daily driver phone. I am hoping that they release the white and the yellow colorways in the increased storage option of 512 gigs eventually, which is currently only available in Stormy Black, because I would straight up buy one. I would purchase that phone. Give me pretty and give me prosumer at the same time. Please phone manufacturers. I want pretty and prosumer. Now, I'm also going to get into my favorite features as well, but I did want to say a huge thank you this week to my newest patrons, including John, Dexter, Tori, Kirk, and Asuna over on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash Shannon Morse. You've got about one week left to nab a spot on Patreon to score a signed 2021 holiday card from me, but you will all always get access to all of the bonuses on that membership page. And as always, subscribing takes a couple of seconds and is one of the easiest ways to support my content. And it's free to do so. So it's a win-win. Now for the best features, starting with the haptics. So haptic feedback, which is when your phone makes a tactile vibration response to your actions, is a very important feature for accessibility, but also for usage. And I think the Pixel 6 Pro does it right. Not only are the haptics very custom so for example, you can enable or disable the haptics for a variety of actions, but you can also turn them up or down and they feel different for different actions as well. I don't feel like the haptics are too extreme to the point where you can like literally hear the vibration, but I also don't think they're so subtle that you couldn't recognize the feedback. It's a great middle ground and something I'm very happy with. Also, Assistant just keeps getting smarter. So for example, on the Pixel 6 line, if you call a toll-free number, and there's an automated voice detected, Assistant will start transcribing the voice on screen and it will show you menu options if it's a phone menu tree. Then you can just tap the menu item that you need. That's great if it's a long menu because you won't have to memorize all the different options or listen to them again and again in order to find the option that you need. You can also skip saying the trigger freeze, which is this. 
<laughs> for specific actions. So an example of this would be if you need to turn off an alarm, you could just say stop or snooze. For incoming calls, you could just say answer or decline. And both of these can be disabled in the settings as well for privacy. At a glance is this assistant feature that will show you important information right on your lock screen and the home screen like weather, commuting times, travel itinerary details, or calendar reminders. Mine usually just shows me calendar meetings and the weather because I never leave my house because I am a hobbit. The only time I leave my house is to go to parties. Lastly are the security updates. Quite literally, the Pixel 6 line introduces five years of security updates. So that means your Pixel will receive security updates until, what is that, 2026 it sounds like? That's a long time, and I am really impressed with all the security and privacy settings that are built into Android 12 as well. And you will also see these baked into updates for previous Pixels as well as just the Pixel 6 line. So with all of that said, make sure to watch this video to learn everything there is to know about fingerprint sensors. I went deep. I sometimes nerd out about things like that. So I made a whole video about fingerprint sensors and check out this video for more Android content as well. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. And I will see y'all soon with my full review. Bye y'all.